Okay, let's uh, let's see. Drawing tool. Let's flood film. Okay, I don't want a texture, so uh, I'm on the wrong tool, I guess. Let's change my tool to something else. Flood fill. No, nope, it's still got a texture, and I don't want a texture. Let's try a different tool. And I like how every time you click a different tool, you see how I'm on my drawing tool over here? But when I click on a different, I go to flood fill with a F key, I click a different tool. It puts me back in draw mode. So every time I try a different tool, I got to hit the F key again. <laughs> and that's wrong. And that's wrong. F key. And that's wrong. Well, that, that's actually solid, I think. That's one. Let's try this one. You tap. Then you got to push F again. That's wrong. Tap and push F again. That's wrong. <laughs> uh, tap and push F. That's wrong. Why am I in a different color now? Okay, let's go back to the original one. If it's on that color now. Why did the color change? <laughs> okay, that's a solid fill. So there's a few tools that'll solid fill, and there's a bunch that won't. And every time you do this, you gotta push the hotkey again to get to your flood fill. And uh, this is just a fine example of why is draw mode doing that now. Okay, I gotta... There we go. That's not even the right draw tool. I gotta, I gotta click this here. Now I'm back. Oh, what is it doing? Holy moly, what tool is that? Go to the pencil. That's the wrong pencil. I want this one. With this one. There, no. Every part of TVP just hurts my brain every part of this process i don't know what it's doing i don't understand it i've tried for years to learn this app i have tried so many times to figure this out it is just impossible P people actually use this i've seen amazing cartoons used with this app somehow people have learned to work this thing and i have struggled to do the most basic of basic things I don't even know what tool that is. The size changed? Is that what happened? No. I want the pencil. On this mode. I, I just don't know. I don't know what it's doing. That's not the normal pencil. I know it's not. All right. So, uh, yeah. I, I'm ready to give up on TVP at this point. Let me show you in Krita how easy this is. All right. Here's Krita. Now, all I have to do is hold down the F key. I, it works as an invocation. You can't do invocable tools like this in TVP that I know of. You hold down the key, it's there while you hold it, let go, you're back in your drawing mode, which is great because look at this. Oops, I missed this. Just let go of the F key, fill it in, push, boom, done, easy. Back in my drawing tool. You know, you could have it as a toggle key if you want to as well. And that works for the select tools as well, you know. And uh, getting back to your drawing tool, just one one little hockey, Q to deselect, you're back. I can't, I can't tell you enough how much I can't stand using TVP. I can't. This is professional animation software. The amazing things have been made with it. And it, it just is so damn cumbersome and confusing every part of the way through it. It makes doing simple tasks unnecessarily hard. You you have you have to use so many hot keys to do the same thing in this app that other apps, it's just a few key presses. You know, just something as simple as even using the select key in this. It's an evocable, and here's if you want it as well. Select something, control C, control V. Well, it's normally control shift V if you want this special tool thing. And you can do all sorts of stuff with this, all kinds of transforms, all kinds of rotates and scale, even flipping. Look how easy it is to flip like that. You know, and it posts to the same frame. Just press, uh, I set one to go back to my brush and then Q to deselect and boom, it's done. And it's posted to the same frame I was working on. It doesn't make a new frame. You know, let's go to frame one here. I'll show, right, uh, select, control C, control V. And let's give a three-eyed monstrosity, deselect, and back of my brush. And it's so simple. There's still a few hotkeys you have to do. 
But in TVP to do the same thing is so many damn hotkeys. And it doesn't even work for the normal select tool. You can't do it this way. You control copy, control V, and it's going to want to make a new frame or a new layer. It's just, see that? How do you post to the same frame? You got to use the cut brush tool and there's so many more hotkeys you have to do because of that. And it's just something you stamp down and <laughs> I have to work within the selection range. You got to clear selection first. And when you're done doing this, you have to clear selection again to get back to your drawing tool. Every part of TVP, I'm telling you, is just as cumbersome and poorly thought up as it could be. I'm not trying to rip into this app for no good reason. It just sucks to use it, man. It sucks to do basic things in it that in other apps are extremely easy to do. Right? Just hold down the F key. It's done. I'm back in my drawing tool. I don't, it's not this Herculean exercise to do stuff in Krita or other apps. So I think this is goodbye. I, I, I love the drawing tools and TVP. Like, why do I keep trying to love this app? It's just because of how much I love the pencil in this app. It is one of the best pencils I've ever used in any app, period. Come on, clear selection. <sighs> And it's still on the select tool. <laughs> and now I got a clear selection again. <laughs> clear selection, stay on the draw tool for Pete's sakes. It's not even the correct drawing tool. And I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why it's the wrong drawing tool and I don't know how to fix it. If I restart the app, and I'm sure I could fix it, but... <laughs> I hate using this app. I just do. I'm sorry. I give up. I'm going to stick with Krita. I'm just going to rock it with this. And uh, you all have a, a very expensive choice to make. Krita is free. TVP is not. It's not about money to me, even though I'm not that rich. I could afford it. I'm, I'm literally avoiding TVP because I just hate how it is to use. It's that simple. Krita is miles better. It takes time to set up Krita to be good. I'm not kidding. This, this, whoops, wrong one. Oh, that was right. Yeah, this is kind of a nightmare to get this stuff set up right. You got your invocations, which is when you hold the tool button down, it's out. It goes back to what you're using when you let go. Whereas keyboard shortcuts is more like a toggle. You know, it'll stay on there if you push it. So you do have to consider this. Um, and make sure if you're going to use a uh, mouse button is what you actually want to use if you're using your stylus, not a key combination. So there's things you've got to know about this. You know, I know I'm not a professional animator or artist. Far from it. I've never made a dime on any of this stuff. I'm just some bum. I'm just some guy. I've just been practicing drawing for years. And uh, I've always known I need to practice animation more. I just don't like the software that's out there for doing it, you know. I've not been perfectly happy with the offerings that are out there. And uh, I've tried TVP on and off and... I thought Adobe Animate was hard to learn. No, that's simple. That's that's far more intuitive than TVP, which brags about it being intuitive on the website. And I, I just could not disagree more with that. It is not intuitive at all. It's just not. You know, I feel like I'm just a bastard for making these videos. Like, I'm my video on why I won't buy TVP12 is highly ranked. And when you search for it on, on YouTube, it's up there near the top. And... I'm not trying to hurt the team. <laughs> I'm really not. If anything, I want them to do better. I want them to make the ultimate animation software because there is no perfect solution. As good as Krita is, it can't do multiple sound layers. You don't even get to see the sound waveform. Um, but I still think overall it's what I'm going to stick with. I, I at least for learning, anyways. You know, maybe someday I'll have a more dramatic use case that it can't cover. But Crit has been developing. They got an active team working on it. It's open source. Whereas TVP has a team of paid developers. But I get the sense that the old devs that made it are pretty old by now. It came out in the mid-90s or something like that. And they're just hiring these new guys to work on it that weren't there when it was created. Do people even still program that way anymore? You know, I, I'm not surprised 
that after 10 years, they got so little accomplished with this update. And then there's bugs and crashes and problems. And the new features they added, I don't care about when it, the base usability of the app is so, just so damn bad. I can't stand it. I can't. I can't. I've tried so hard. I've been accused of not even trying to learn the software by Peter, <laughs> Peter Wasnick. <laughs> Speaking of which, hi, Peter. How you doing? <laughs> I'm not trying to be a bastard for no reason. Like, you know, thank you for taking the time to comment my videos. But um, I really did try. I really did. This is this is a sad end. I love the drawing tools in TVP. I've never I've never used a better pencil, a more leg-free pencil experience. And that's where Krita is definitely got more latency in the drawing tools. So I wanted I wanted TVP to be my home for a good reason. You know, when you spend most of your time working behind a pencil, yeah, I want to go where the best pencil is. So I'm sorry about this. Maybe someday, maybe you guys at TVP put out an amazing update. I don't know. But uh, I'm just going to move on from now. I'll probably stop making these videos. And you all take care. And good luck in your, your quest. You know, all you people out there looking to animate. It's a hard choice to make. You know, there's a lot of different softwares out there. I tried Clip Studio Pro for a while, the, the EX version. And I think that's pretty good too. But even there, I still prefer Krita. It's just a little easier to do things, especially with the select, copy, paste, transform tool that pops up when you use, you know, at least Control Shift V. I remapped that to Control V. That should be the default. I don't know why it's not. You know, I could say so much more. There's so much more I'm forgetting to talk about. But uh, I think this will do. I'm just going to get back to drawing. I'm just going to get back to animating. I, I got to stop making these videos, I feel. It's time to get to work. Take care, everybody.